Hello and welcome to Gadget Joe. For years there has been no denying the fact that technology has surpassed an unreal state. From cameras, cars, TVs, mobiles and more, every aspect of our life now involves some form of technology powering it. What's even more outstanding is that one trend has followed it all throughout the years and that is size. Every generation develops a new, more powerful but much smaller end product. Getting these products so small is only a fraction of the issue, as the main components that power it all has to be even smaller. Everything is powered in one way or another by a tiny computer of sort. So with that said, the demand for making fully functioning tiny computer components has never been higher, and that is what we are looking at today. We're going to be focusing on a product that is taking over the world by storm, with phenomenal popularity, well, at least amongst those tech minded folk like me and you of course. Small computers are not a new product by any means. You only have to look around and see your own computer to see this. These smaller units don't sacrifice any horsepower either, in fact it's much the opposite. The newer units are in some instances literally thousands times more powerful and capable than their original counterparts. Not only this but they can now be completely customised by the owner to get them to do whatever they wish them to. A relatively new product on the market nowadays is a computer which is more commonly known as a maker board. These boards are very small but have full PC functionality, but offer endless opportunities to create custom DIY projects from robots and media centres to the ever popular games emulator machines. For a long time, the standing name in maker boards was the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry was small, compact, cheap and completely customisable by being able to run a multitude of operating systems from Linux to Windows. The only problem with the Pi is that it was relatively underpowered, making it limited performance wise. Components were created to make it more customisable, but it then lost its small form factor. Over the years Raspberry 2 and Raspberry 3 were introduced with faster processors and more efficient connectivity. Unfortunately still though, the Pi 3 was even classed to some as being still relatively underpowered and limited. With that said, we finally bring ourselves on to the product that everyone is talking about. This is a board that has been created to solve all of these issues and outpower the Pi 3 vastly. This board is of course the Udo x86. Udo are not new to the maker board scene however, having already produced two boards previously in the form of a Udo Neo, available from only $49 and moving on to the Udo Dual and Quad boards, offering more power. The new x86 however is getting all of the public media interest and it's clear to see why. This board does away with the lower specs of the Neo Dual and Quad board and packs it with a processor that has plenty of horsepower. Taking advantage of a quad core Intel processor capable of up to 2.56 GHz, the x86 is powerful enough to run pretty much anything thrown at it. This makes it an outstanding 10 times more powerful than the Raspberry Pi 3 and significantly more powerful than any other maker board on the market. It doesn't end there either with up to 8GB of dual channel DDR3L RAM, 8GB eMMC storage and Intel HD graphics, the board is certainly more than capable. There are lots of expansion options available too with support for up to 3 4K displays at the same time. Free USB 3.0 ports, Bluetooth connectivity, audio mic input and much more. You're not limited to just the 8GB memory either with SATA connectors micro SD card slot and an extra M2 key slot making memory upgrades easy. What makes it even more distinguishable from the other maker boards on the market is its pre-built Arduino 101 support, accelerometer and gyroscope for maximum user compatibility. Arduino takes the board to a whole new level of ability allowing it to be used in a seemingly endless amount of applications. It's also been laid out perfectly to allow the Arduino 101 board microcontroller board to be connected and allow it to work independently from the main CPU. The Arduino 101 or Genuino 101 for those of us outside the US is a learning and developmental board which contains the Intel Curie module which opens up the doors for entry level and advanced engineers to program software to control and create interactive projects. The range of applications and abilities that are accessible from the board are endless. Prime examples of its use would be video streaming devices for the likes of Netflix, Amazon, Now TV and of course Kodi, to light gaming all the way up to professional, graphical and developmental platforms. Even more appealing than this is the fact that it will simply run as a standalone Windows Home PC. What's even more appealing to all of this is the fact that the x86 is simply tiny. The x86 is a product of Uju and the board is currently on Kickstarter to achieve further funding for materials for mass production. 
they set a realistic target of $100,000 over 30 days. Having been running now for just over a week, they have smashed that within the first half a day and are now sitting at nearly $600,000 with nearly three weeks left. The link for the Kickstarter will be in the description, so head on over now to order your very own x86 board with multiple variants and price points available for your own specific requirements. We for one here at Gadget Joe can't wait until the board is in production to get our hands on one and try out multiple projects with it. If you would like to see more of a board, then head over and order one now. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to see some future project builds using the x86, including step-by-step how-to guides. Well that's all for now, and until next time, goodbye.